off, here we come. As a frequent traveller, I'm often asked, where's your favourite place? And it might sound a bit cliche, but mine is the departure lounge, because no matter which departure lounge you're in, you're always going somewhere. I've come prepared. Not necessarily my choice of airport or airline, but hey, we're off on an adventure. This is Luke Jones, the other way from Nukova Airport. All aboard. Flying with a budget airline, but let's see if the uh, trusty gold card can uh, help me to jump the queue. Flying dry, especially in the evenings, is not for me, so I've got a nice cider before we uh, board the plane. Tonight's a very special occasion, a real milestone for me. There's a lot to come. Come and join us and I'll tell you more. Boarding's just started. We managed to beer. Boarding's nearly over. Let's go. Okay, all aboard. Pabiena, here we come. Here off, here we come. good reason why I'm in Kirov today. Jan has been trying to get me to come here for a long time. I finally made it, but for me it represents a milestone. There are 85 regions of Russia and this is the final tick in the box in Kirov, number 85. You've kept the best until last. I hope so. Let's go and have a proper look around. Let's go for a drive. My idea of a great Saturday morning is actually not going to visit a museum of some Russian writer that I'd never even heard of in a town in the middle of nowhere. But we're going to make an exception today because uh, this one's apparently a little bit special. Now this isn't just a museum to the guy who lived here. This actually shows how people lived, well, the uh, slightly more upper classes lived back in the 1850s. It's been beautifully restored. Now let's go and have a look around inside. So, Paulina, who is this museum dedicated to? Uh, this museum is dedicated to Mikhail Yevgrafovich Soltakov Shedrin. <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a mouthful, unlike my nice long name, Luke Jones. But anyway, who was this Mikhail guy? Uh, he was... Uh, civil servant and a writer, and he lived in this house for seven years in 1850. Oh, fantastic. Okay, well look, let's go and have a look around and see how people lived back then. Although I've never actually heard of this guy, Mikhail, his quotes are quite famous. Going back 170 odd years, he was saying that, for example, one of the big differences between, say, Europe and Russia is the fact that in Europe we have a small number of laws that we tend to obey, and in Russia we have a whole host of laws that everybody ignores. And I even learned something new today, a quote from Mikhail, who wrote about 170 odd years ago, that if I go to sleep and I wake up in 100 years and ask people what's happening, the answer is going to be in Russia, theft and drinking. Nothing ever changes. So, Paulina, thank you very much for showing us around the museum. Thank you. I hope you will enjoy Kirov. I think we will. You always know when you're in the middle of a city in Russia because you have these beautiful, big, Stalin-era imposing buildings here. What most of them do or function as is questionable. This one just says Centralna, Central. Well, Central what exactly? Are you supposed to guess? Let's go and find out. 
The Four Stars is a bit of a giveaway. Turns out it's a hotel and restaurant complex. Well, okay, we're staying somewhere else. Nice to know for next time. Let's go and see what the rest of Kirov has in store for us. We've had lunch, time for some dessert. Now where? Let's go to Ice Cream Museum. Ice Cream Museum? Well, let's hope that they actually sell some ice cream afterwards. In we go. We're all gonna have to work for our food here, so uh, we're gonna make some ice cream. So, uh, hats on. Oh, this one's a bit small, actually. I hope they're, uh, we can uh, stretch it a bit. This is not gonna <laughs> work. <laughs> Let's see if we can find another one. Yana, is there any bigger ones? Let's see what we can do here. Let's try this. Here we go. <laughs> Perfect fit, eh? Okay, you ready? Yeah. Let's go.